Hello, everyone. Welcome to Careers in Death Care, a day in the life of a Green Cemetery director with myself, Mandy Benwaleed, and John Christian Pfeiffer. Talk to us about a typical day in the life of a green or conservation cemetery director. Oh, gosh. What do you do all day? What do you do all week? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, this morning I was at a nursing facility having coffee with some people who are passionate about conservation. Um, <laughs> but it's it's really different, you know, when I was when I was in the conventional setting, you know, our superintendent or caretaker would come in and he would look at work orders and determine you know, where do we need to go to repair a stone that's been broken? Or we've got to marry, we've got to, we've got to mow and weed this section. We need to um, spray for wasps over here. We need to do this and that. And then there was quota, which is something that um, larger cemeteries have, um, especially larger cemeteries that are owned by a big company. Um, those types of, of cemeteries have a quota. Um, but really my focus is not quota based it's people based um, and it's planet based so at larkspur um, our goal is the family experience um, and how we can positively impact the environment at the same time so i wear all kinds of hats from um you know i'm i'm like i don't know I'm, i always kind of wanted to be a botanist when i was a kid i wanted to be a funeral director a botanist and a park ranger weird right it's kind of like exactly what you're doing right now i know so <laughs> i play this role of like teacher sometimes i'm this chaplain kind of ministerial guy um regardless of faith um <laughs> you know i'm a naturalist um i'm a spokesperson for the nonprofit. um i help create rituals i hug trees <laughs> i dig graves um you know landscape design co-worker um, and friends to both the people um, at and around the, the preserve and to my co-workers as well. Um, but there's these days are spent um, meeting with families and doing end of life planning, um, working with my staff and neighbor relations. I work with a lot of funeral directors and, and giving them the tools that they need to be able to properly serve a family that chooses cremation to work with them on um, providing detailed information about natural burial to families choosing cremation because a lot of times people just don't know that this is an option and when they find out um, they are they're definitely um, uh, influenced by the, this option um, and i also help help a lot of healthcare workers social workers hospice hospital staff um, understand end of life affairs both from a funeral home sense standpoint but also from how to how natural burial works um, when someone asks about it and that's in their care. Of course, the dreaded email spreadsheets, going to the post right. office, making deposits. Uh, the occasional rattlesnake is at the preserve and we need to make <laughs> sure that it's protected along with all of the little um, cute butterflies and stuff. So I get a call, it's like, oh my gosh, there's a rattlesnake. I said, of course there is, it's the nature. You know, what do you expect? <laughs> I'm like, did Amazing. you get a picture of it? And they're like, a picture? I couldn't even, I could bear to look at it. Um, but That's I try hilarious. to get out there, you know, and, and yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. There's, there's no, there's no one thing that I do every single day. Um, it's just always a big mix of the different things. Mm -hmm.